It's nice to have a great day to celebrate MBA's 12th Founders Day. This uh, event uh, brings together not only all of the faculty and staff and students, but our Board of Trustees uh, who are meeting today for their annual spring meeting. And then, of course, we'll be outside in a few minutes uh, for this race. So I mentioned that we have our trustees here, but I want to particularly point out uh, that uh, today's race is named after Van Webb. You'll see a photo of him in a few moments, class of 2000. And uh, we remember Van and, and celebrate him and, and have a number of his family here today. First, his dad, if you'd please stand, Billy Webb, his uh, uncle, Jimmy Webb, and Jimmy's wife, Becky, and their son, Jay, and daughter-in-law, Taylor, and their daughter, Abby. Please stand on my right there. Let's welcome the Webb family. The uh, day, the Founders Day, uh, give, give us a little history reminder today. Uh, Montgomery Bell's will was probated in 1855 when he died, but uh, they were uncertain, uh, particularly because of the ensuing Civil War times and, and investment issues and questions about what exactly his $20,000 would become. And it took 12 years and some good investment uh, for the uh, Will group to decide that we would begin MBA in 1867. As you see, the school started in three locations downtown and then moved here in 1915 the, uh, to this location. The advertisement in 1915 read that they were going to build a uh, school in the country for city boys. And at this time, at that time in 1915, this was certainly a different landscape uh, and, and one that didn't have as much of a suburban feel as it does now. But uh, we are proud of this history and, and it's great to celebrate it uh, together today. We'll start with some music from our Hill Singers and a song entitled Brothers Sing On. Come and let our swelling song mount like the whirling wind. As it meets our singing throng, so by the heart and mind. Cap and soft bone now be gone. Brothers in song sing on. Brothers sing on, sing on. Youth is a wandering. His vessel a song of love, brothers sing on, sing on. Air and minstrels, thus we greet you, lifts to our voices strong. With glad and open hearts we meet you in a festival of song. Cap and soft roll now be gone. Brothers in song, sing on, brothers, sing on, sing on. Thank you, Mr. Smith, and thanks uh, to our uh, singers, the Hill Singers, and especially thanks to so many of you who've become part of different musical groups of the school. We can. Uh, we can have a variety of music now because of all these different groups. It's really been fun to orchestrate with you. It's been a convention of this day to have a senior make a few comments about the school. I'm proud to have Charles Hunter come up now. Please join me in recognizing Charles. Gentlemen, good morning. Many of you know that I am generally quiet and reserved. I'm rarely the guy who is mentioned at assemblies or presents awards at the school. At another school, I might have been sidelined or completely forgotten. But at MBA, the value we place on personal connections and camaraderie make even someone as reserved as I am feel right at home. In a few months, I will leave this community I call home 
and began attending the Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Looking forward, there are many parallels between the MBA and the Academy. Here we have gentlemen, scholar, athlete. There they have morally, mentally, physically. We say, fortitudo per scientiam, strength through knowledge. At Navy, they say, ex scientia tridens, from knowledge, sea power. In addition to having similar mottos, both schools share a history and tradition of creating and fostering men of great character. We both take pride in our honor codes, which we place above any report card or sport victory. I'm glad to know that I'll be matriculating to an institution so similar to MBA, and that my years here on the Hill have prepared me for my road ahead. The school year is almost over. For all of you seventh graders up there and other first year students, congratulations on making it through an MBA school year. And for my fellow seniors, we are very close to completing this great and challenging journey we, have, we began many years ago. We have grown as a class and persevered through many hardships, learning to support each other to become the class of 2015. I sincerely hope that the classes of 16, 17, 18, and beyond will continue this tradition set long before any of us were even alive of perseverance and unity through hard work, care for one another, and recognition that excellence in every field should be honored. Today we celebrate the founding of Montgomery Bell Academy, an institution that has served generations of young men and continues to influence us. Our motto of fortitudo per scientiam, strength through knowledge, and the ideals of gentleman, scholar, athlete, have guided and influenced us for many years and show that the best part of Montgomery Bell Academy is not the facilities, the resources, or any superficial aspect of the school, but rather the people who play a role in developing the school as a community. We have seen that these ideals are not simply words, but rather fundamentals that we as a school embrace. It is not an uncommon sight on campus to see an athlete who also participates in academic events or performs in the theater or music departments. Most importantly, we support each other in these varied endeavors and thus come together not as a band or a troop or a team, but as an entire MBA community. This appreciation for our diverse talents and interests has played a major role in securing our school as a productive, successful, and respectful environment. We cannot, however, rest on our laurels, nor can we disappoint those upon whose shoulders we stand. It is up to us to continue and perhaps even create those traditions that make Montgomery Bell Academy such an amazing place. And so I urge each and every one of you to recognize how fortunate you are to attend this school and remember that you are part of this big red sea, this long red line that has served boys for 148 years and will continue to shape men for years to come. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Charles. Great job. Appreciate you very much. All right, let's uh, move to uh, our, our uh, theme and uh, mood for the race. Let's watch this scene from Chariots of Fire. <laughs> Gentlemen, to your marks, if you please. Now remember, on the first strike of 12,
Well, it's nice to be reminded of this tradition uh, through that film and nice to see this photo of Van Webb, uh, whom I said earlier graduated from MBA in 2000. Van matriculated at Vanderbilt and then passed away from cancer, but it's wonderful to have his memory live on today and in this race. So let's look at the plan. So as you see, the, uh, the race will begin close to the Carter Building and we'll divide the school up with the juniors over there, the 10th graders uh, near Ball, the 7th and 8th graders, as I said before, way out there. Uh, <laughs> the, the 9th and the 12th graders coming back down this side of the Davis building. So we have one student running from each class. Most importantly, allow them to run and give them some space. Let's look at the runners. In the 12th grade, Michael Lacey. In the 11th grade, Hayne Hamilton. In the 10th grade, Cameron Wade. In the 9th grade, Cord Wilson. All right, wait, 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 wait. Westminster, Westminster chimes to sound twice. And then we'll hear three strikes of the hour. On the third strike, the race begins. So please be quiet. Let's go outside.